Cryptographically secure pseudo-random number generator. A cryptographically secure pseudo-random number generator, CSPRNG, or cryptographic pseudo-random number generator, CPRNG, is a pseudo-random number generator, PRNG, with properties that make it suitable for use in cryptography. It is also loosely known as a cryptographic random number generator, CRNG, see random number generation section true versus pseudo-random numbers. Most cryptographic applications require random numbers, for example. The quality of the randomness required for these applications varies. For example, creating a nonce in some protocols needs only uniqueness. On the other hand, the generation of a master key requires a higher quality, such as more entropy. And in the case of one-time pads, the information theoretic guarantee of perfect secrecy only holds if the key material comes from a true random source with high entropy, and thus any kind of pseudo-random number generator is insufficient. Ideally, the generation of random numbers in CSPRNGs uses entropy obtained from a high-quality source, generally the operating system's randomness API. However, Unexpected correlations have been found in several such ostensibly independent processes. From an information theoretic point of view, the amount of randomness, the entropy that can be generated, is equal to the entropy provided by the system. But sometimes, in practical situations, more random numbers are needed than there is entropy available. Also, the processes to extract randomness from a running system are slow in actual practice. In such instances, a CSPRNG can sometimes be used. A CSPRNG can stretch the available entropy over more bits. Requirements The requirements of an ordinary PRNG are also satisfied by a cryptographically secure PRNG, but the reverse is not true. CSPRNG requirements fall into two groups, first, that they pass statistical randomness tests, and secondly, that they hold up well under serious attack, even when part of their initial or running state becomes available to an attacker. Most PRNGs are not suitable for use as CSPRNGs and will fail on both counts. First, while most PRNGs outputs appear random to assorted statistical tests, they do not resist determined reverse engineering. Specialized statistical tests may be found specially tuned to such a PRNG that shows the random numbers not to be truly random. Second, for most PRNGs, when their state has been revealed, all past random numbers can be retradicted, allowing an attacker to read all past messages, as well as future ones. CSPRNGs are designed explicitly to resist this type of cryptanalysis. Definitions in the asymptotic setting, a family of deterministic polynomial time computable functions g k 0 1 k 0 1 p k backslash display style g sub k backslash colon 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k backslash 2 0 comma 1 backslash p k for some polynomial p is a pseudo random number generator p r n g or PRG in some references, if it stretches the length of its input, P, K, greater than K, backslash display style PK greater than K, for any K, and if its output is computationally indistinguishable from true randomness, i.e. for any probabilistic polynomial time algorithm A, which outputs 1 or 0 as a distinguisher. For some negligible function mu, backslash display style backslash mu dot the notation xx backslash display style x backslash gets x means that x is chosen uniformly at random from the set x there is an equivalent characterization for any function family g k 0 1 k 0 1 p k backslash display style g sub k backslash colon 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k backslash 2, 0 comma 1 backslash pk, g is a prng if and only if the next output bit of g cannot be predicted by a polynomial time algorithm. A forward secure prng with block length t, k, backslash display style tk, is a prng gk, 0, 1, k, 0, 1, 
k times 0 1 t k backslash display style g sub k backslash colon 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k backslash 2 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k backslash times 0 comma 1 backslash tk where the input string si backslash display style s sub i with length k is the current state at period i and the output si plus 1 backslash display style s underscore i plus 1 y i backslash display style y sub i consists of the next state si plus 1 backslash display style s underscore i plus 1 and the pseudo random output block y i backslash display style y sub i of period i such that it withstands state compromise extensions in the following sense if the initial state s1 backslash display style s1 is chosen uniformly at random from 0 1 k backslash display style 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k then for any i the sequence y1 y2 yi si plus 1 backslash display style y sub 1 y sub 2 backslash dots y sub i s underscore i plus 1 must be computationally indistinguishable from r1 r2 ri si plus 1 backslash display style r sub 1 r sub 2 backslash dots r sub i s underscore i plus 1 in which the ri backslash display style r sub i are chosen uniformly at random from 0 1 t k backslash display style 0 comma 1 backslash t k dot any p r and g g 0 1 k 0 1 p k backslash display style g backslash colon 0 comma 1 backslash to the power of k backslash 2 0 comma 1 backslash p k can be turned into a forward secure prng with block length p k minus k backslash display style p k k by splitting its output into the next state and the actual output this is done by setting g s equals g 0 s g 1 s backslash display style g apostrophe s equals g sub 0 s backslash vert g sub 1 s in which g 0 s equals s equals k backslash display style vertical bar g sub 0 s vertical bar equals vertical bar s vertical bar equals k and g 1 s equals p k minus k backslash display style vertical bar g sub 1 s vertical bar equals p k k then g is a forward secure pr and g with g 0 backslash display style g sub 0 as the next state and g 1 backslash display style g sub 1 as the pseudo random output block of the current period entropy extraction santu and vazirani proved that several bit streams with weak randomness can be combined to produce a higher quality quasi random bit stream even earlier john von neumann proved that a simple algorithm can remove a considerable amount of the bias in any bit stream which should be applied to each bit stream before using any variation of the santa vazirani design dot designs in the discussion below cspr and g designs are divided into three classes the last often introduces additional entropy when available and strictly speaking are not pure pseudo random number generators as their output is not completely determined by their initial state this addition can prevent attacks even if the initial state is compromised designs based on cryptographic primitives number theoretic designs special designs there are a number of practical prngs that have been designed to be cryptographically secure including standards several csprngs have been standardized for example a good reference is maintained by nist there are also standards for statistical testing of new csprng designs NSA kleptographic backdoor in the dual underscore EC underscore DRBG PRNG. The Guardian and the New York Times have reported in 2013 that the National Security Agency, NSA, inserted a backdoor into a pseudo random number generator, PRNG, 
of NIST SP 890A which allows the NSA to readily decrypt material that was encrypted with the aid of dual underscore EC underscore DRBG. Both papers report that, as independent security experts long suspected, the NSA has been introducing weaknesses into CSPRNG standard 800-90, this being confirmed for the first time by one of the top secret documents leaked to The Guardian by Edward Snowden. The NSA worked covertly to get its own version of the NIST draft security standard approved for worldwide use in 2006. The leaked document states that eventually, NSA became the sole editor. In spite of the known potential for a kleptographic backdoor and other known significant deficiencies with dual underscore EC underscore DRBG, several companies such as RSA Security continued using dual underscore EC underscore DRBG until the backdoor was confirmed in 2013. RSA Security received a $10 million payment from the NSA to do so. Security Flaws Do Attack on October 23, 2017, Sanam Kony, Matthew Green, and Nadia Henninger, cryptographers at the University of Pennsylvania and Johns Hopkins University released details of the Don't Use Hard-Coded Keys attack on WPA2 where hardware vendors use a hard-coded seed key for the ANSI X9.31 RNG algorithm in conjunction with the usage of the ANSI X9.31 random number generator. An attacker can brute force encrypted data to discover the rest of the encryption parameters and deduce the master encryption key used to encrypt web sessions or virtual private network VPN, connections. Japanese Purple Cipher Machine During World War II, Japan used a cipher machine used for diplomatic communications, the United States was able to crack it and read its messages, mostly because the key values used were insufficiently random.